Uh, so it turns out um, that the uh, gut, specifically the part of the gut that includes the end part of the stomach and the beginning part of the intestine, is the same part of the body where the pancreas comes from during development. Um, and the idea uh, initially was that perhaps these two regions uh, might share enough in common um, that with the right tweaking, you might be able to convert those cells um, from the intestine or the stomach into an insulin-producing beta cell. So um, what this project is really designed to do is to um, see whether we can convert very specific cells um, in the um, the stomach and intestine organoids into insulin-producing beta-like cells um, for the treatment of patients with diabetes. So one of the uh, one of the remarkable things about the lining of the intestine um, is that it turns over. That means it's replaced every four days or so. Um, so uh, the intestine that you had four days ago is completely different than the intestine you have today. That means it's a highly regenerative tissue, um, and except for the stem cells and a couple of other cells that are a little bit longer lived, all the other cells um, have a very, very short lifespan. So when those cells are reprogrammed into insulin-producing cells, they too have a very short lifespan. Uh, but because they're continually generated over that four-day period of time, um, there are sufficient cells, at least in the mouse model, uh, to be able to um, uh, treat mice who develop diabetes. Yeah, it's pretty remarkable that it works at all. Um, but I think it all it speaks to the potency of these cells. Um, if given the right environment and the right conditions, um, they uh, know what they need to do. Um, and when we use the proper factors that are required to uh, reprogram them into beta cells, they don't seem to have a choice. Um, that becomes their new fate. Um, and um, making insulin is what they like to do.